Do you know how much water you should be drinking each day? This is a question that often leaves many of us scratching our heads. Hydration is crucial for our overall health and well-being, and it plays a pivotal role in so many bodily functions. Water, the elixir of life, is the foundation of our existence. It acts as a vehicle, transporting essential nutrients to different parts of our body, fueling our cells, and keeping our organs functioning optimally. And that's not all. Water is also the unsung hero of digestion. It aids in breaking down food, ensuring that we can absorb the nutrients we need. Then we have the vital role water plays in maintaining our body temperature. By regulating our internal thermostat, it keeps us cool when we're hot and warm when we're cold. So, we've established that water is pretty important. But the question remains, how much water should we be drinking each day? You've probably heard of the 8x8 rule, which suggests drinking 8 8 ounce glasses of water a day. This rule is a common guideline that simply suggests consuming 64 ounces of water daily. It's easy to remember and even easier to follow, making it a popular choice for many. But where did this rule come from? It's believed to have originated from a misinterpretation of a 1945 Food and Nutrition Board recommendation. Since then, it's been passed down through generations, becoming a part of our everyday health conversations. However, the 8x8 rule doesn't consider individual factors. It doesn't take into account your age, gender, weight, or the level of physical activity you engage in. It also overlooks factors like climate and health conditions that can significantly influence your hydration needs. So if the 8x8 rule isn't a one-size-fits-all solution, what factors should we consider when determining our daily water intake? Scene script. Determining the right amount of water to drink involves considering several factors. Let's start with age. As we grow older, our body's water content decreases, so adults generally need more water than children. Gender also plays a role, with men typically requiring more water than women due to their higher proportion of muscle mass, which holds more water than fat. Next, we look at weight. A common rule of thumb is to drink half an ounce to an ounce of water for each pound you weigh. So, a 200-pound person would need between 100 to 200 ounces of water per day. Physical activity can significantly affect your water needs. The more you move, the more water you lose through sweat, and that needs to be replaced. So, athletes or those with physically demanding jobs may need to up their water intake. Climate is another important factor. Living or working in hot or dry environments increases water loss through sweat and breath. So if you're in a desert or a sauna, you'll need to drink more. Lastly, your overall health can influence your hydration needs. Certain conditions, like diabetes or heart disease, may require you to drink more water, while others, like kidney disorders, may require less. Understanding these factors can help you estimate your daily water needs. But is there a more concrete way to calculate it? There are several methods to calculate your daily water intake, and we'll discuss some of them. One popular method is the body weight method. This approach suggests that for every pound of body weight, you should consume approximately half an ounce of water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you would need around 100 ounces of water per day. This method is beneficial because it takes into account that those with a higher body weight may require more hydration than those who weigh less. Another method to consider is the physical activity method. This one is particularly useful for those who lead an active lifestyle. The rule of thumb here is to add an additional 12 ounces of water for every 30 minutes of exercise. This accounts for the additional water your body loses during physical exertion. But here's the kicker. These calculations are estimates. They provide a good starting point, but your individual water needs may vary. Factors such as age, climate, and health conditions can influence your hydration needs. It's also important to remember that you can consume water through food as well. Foods high in water content like cucumbers and watermelon can also contribute to your daily hydration. Finally, always listen to your body. If you're thirsty, drink. If you're not, don't force it. Your body is often the best judge of what it needs. Remember, staying hydrated is essential for your health, so make sure you're getting enough water every day.